Hello, I want to show you a little different take on the staircase this time. And if you'll see coming from upstairs down, we've got a first basic section. Then it curves, and I hope you can see that it curves again going back down. I'll try to film the whole thing for you. But remember, any time that you're measuring upper levels, you're going to take the area of the staircase, the width by the total length, you're going to raise that area and you're going to include that in your second level square footage count. Now, whether we all agree with this method or not, it's the method that the ANSI guidelines state and the North Carolina residential square footage guidelines. That's the method that they require us to use. So that's what you need to use. It best represents your customers. And this area, you know, is probably 40 to 50 square feet. It's not a big area, but you know, if it's $150 a square foot, it's enough difference to make sure you want to get it done right anyway. So just remember, anytime you have an upper level area, whatever the stairs are, raise that space and count it within the finished square footage for the upper level.